Welcome back, Vault Dwellers. This is your Naked Vault Dweller. Today, we have Episode 16, Division of Wealth. We're just two quests away from completing this whole quest line. Before we get started, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel, as I'm always releasing new content. But enough about all that. Just so you know, once you decide on a faction, all the other quests on the opposing faction will be cancelled, so make sure that you take care of all those other quests before you finally decide on one faction or the other. When you speak to Paige, he'll tell you that everything is ready to go and that everyone in the basement at Freddy's Fear House. To finally put an end to all of this, the map marker will lead you straight to the cellar doors of Freddy's Fear House. When you go inside, you'll find that Paige and his overalls have beaten you down there. He's pretty quick. Once you speak to Paige, you'll find that Penelope is not in their company. She's checking on the mother load for some final preps. The conversation will abruptly end with a radio transmission with Penelope at the helm. She'll explain that she's being held hostage by the raider hijack. They want you to come alone to meet with them. Hi everyone, small situation. Those well-dressed people from the crater are here. They say hello. According to the one who is currently shoving a 10 millimeter in my face, his name is Hijack. <laughs> Lovely. They want the Vault Dweller to come alone, or they are going to kill me. I guess that's it. We'll just be here, waiting. Paige hands you a spare ID card and sends you on your way. It's ironic that Paige has a spare ID card. So you strap on your rocket pack and out the door to Hornrot Industrial Headquarters. Once inside, you'll follow the same path you did once before to make it down to Penelope's lab. When you get to Penelope's office, you'll find that she's being held by four different raiders. They're pretty bloodthirsty. Here at last. Step into my office and let's talk. Your conversation with Hijack has a charisma and strength check which can take you down a dialogue path that will resolve in a peaceful ending. If you negotiate, it'll take a longer to complete. Finally, if you attack, you'll end up having to kill all of them and not get raider reputation. After you get done with Hijack, you'll end up speaking with Penelope. She'll tell you that the mother load was damaged and it needs to be fixed. She'll have to reprogram it through the cave. Penelope asks for you to go through the cave so she can use your choices to reprogram mother load. Once you make it to the cave, you'll be presented with different fake walls. I think no matter how you choose, the outcome is still always going to be the same. You could leave, hit as hard as you can, push the wall, or even talk to the wall. You make your way through the cave, examining all the walls until Penelope has all the input she needs to reprogram. All you need to do is just follow the HUD display to find your way through. Once you're out of the cave, you'll come to a neural oscillation scanner. Yes, it does tickle. After you're finished with all the tickling, you'll meet up with Penelope where she'll tell you that all that she needs to do is repair the mother load. Just one last thing to do. Get the mother load back in action. Let's get the mother load repaired and be on our way. You install the intelligence module and mother load will slip down below. And that's it, Vault Dwellers. If this video is any help to you, or you're stuck anywhere, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to also give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And we'll see you next time, right here on the Naked Vault Dweller. Take care.